week. It is DIY Tuesday with Oil Life today, and today we are going to be making one of my personal favorite recipes. This is from our Autumn Lookbook. Now, if you haven't seen this lookbook, you're missing out. This is the best tool for you to learn about our most popular products, some of our coolest um, kind of classic products, as well as there are a couple of recipes in here. This lookbook does go hand in hand with our DIY download for those of you who need to know where that is. It's on our website under digital and if you go down to downloadable, it's right there. It's $2.99, you'll get about 12 to 15 recipes with that as well as raffle tickets, tent cards, all of that. It has a whole list of everything that's included in there as well. So this does go hand in hand with that download because it has the stickers for the DIY set class in there. So this is a set of stickers for one person. So if you're gonna do a class for 10 people, we would recommend taking, um, getting 10 lookbooks so that you have enough for everybody. You can, the download does come with a sticker sheet. However, we do recommend these stickers because in that sticker sheet, you do have to cut them out and here they're already done for you. These are normally a dollar today and tomorrow. They'll be on sale for 80 cents. So that is 20% off. So make sure you're taking advantage of that. And also today, the giveaway is going to be one, uh, not, I'm sorry, not one, five, of these lookbooks. So make sure that you are commenting, liking, sharing so that you can have these lookbooks for your next class and they really do make it a success. So today we're going to be making pumpkin spice bread with essential oils. Now it smells delicious in this kitchen. I need somebody to invent something so that you guys can smell it because it is so yummy in here you guys. It just smells like fall and it's great. So we're going to be making a little bit of a fun fall recipe. So I have one of the finished loaves here and it looks amazing. It's golden brown. It looks really good. I want to eat it, but I won't right now. I'll do it later. And <laughs> I'll share with the people downstairs. Anyways, so we, um, so this recipe actually does include essential oils. Now we are going to be using cinnamon and clove today. So Make sure you're paying attention to the recipes. This recipe is, again, in our fall lookbook along with a apple cider recipe. So check that out. If you do have your lookbook, you can follow along or make this with me. It's up to you. So we're gonna get started. I have all of our, rec our recipes, ingredients, right here in front of me. So I have already preheated the oven, but we're not gonna be baking it right now. So. You preheat your oven to 350 degrees and then you're going to combine your pumpkin with your sugar, um, oils, and water. So let's do that. Oh, and you'll want to add the vegetable oil as well. I'm using olive oil um, just because it is a little bit healthier than regular vegetable oil. It's up to you, personal preference, do what you will. So in this recipe, I um, we're gonna be taking clove and cinnamon. So it's one drop of clove and three drops of cinnamon. This clove is not wanting to come out. There we go. So one of clove and then three of cinnamon. Perfect. Okay, and what I do is you can use a hand mixer, but just beginning, I like to hand mix it just so that I make sure that everything is really nicely combined. Um, it'll even out that essential oil flavor and it won't leave spots that still like taste super concentrated versus spots where you can't taste it at all. So it does make it a little bit more even. And then once you have it mixed, pretty well, then you can go ahead and mix it with the hand mixer a little bit. And let's do that for a second. And be careful, this is a little bit runny, so when you are mixing this, just make sure that you have a clean area where it won't splash over because it does tend to splash. Now in our separate bowl, so this is, we're just going to leave this right now. 
and then in a smaller bowl you're going to want to combine the rest of your ingredients. So I am mixing the flour, salt, baking powder, and nutmeg. So I already combined the salt, baking powder, and nutmeg in this bowl just for time saving sake I guess. And so we'll be adding this and just combining this. And you can just mix it with a fork, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. So I'm going to go ahead and do that really quickly. And um, I would recommend putting the flour in first, I didn't, and so a lot of that nutmeg and baking powder will be at the bottom. I would recommend putting that on last just so that you get it more evenly dispersed. And then we are going to put our eggs, we're going to mix the eggs into the pumpkin mix really quickly. So let's do that. So this calls for two eggs, it's really easy and it feeds probably about 10 people. It, everybody just has about one slice, but it is amazing and it smells so good you guys. I can't even, I can't express to you guys how good this smells, it just smells like fall. And it's a great treat if you want to bring it to Thanksgiving, dinner, anything like that. It's 100% guaranteed to be a hit. in there I would recommend uh, when you put your flour mixture in and combine these two I would actually recommend uh, mixing it first by hand that way if you're you know you're using an electric mixer afterwards it won't make all that flour kind of float up into the air and you'll get most of it in the bowl and not on the counter or the floor so that is something that we recommend for this recipe. Uh, also, for those of you who are just joining us, we are making pumpkin spice bread with essential oils with clove and cinnamon. And the giveaway today is going to be um, five of our autumn lookbooks. So you'll get those stickers included in there. And you, the special for today is that these lookbooks are 80 cents as opposed to a dollar. That bulk price when you buy 10 or more is still 50 cents, so that price hasn't changed. But today and tomorrow only, the lookbooks are 80 cents, so make sure you're checking that out as well. I'm just gonna go ahead and mix this really quickly one last time with the mixer. As soon as this is kind of a little bit more mixed in there, just so that, like I said before, that flour doesn't go everywhere. It does get a little bit messy if you do it, if you just use a straight hand mixer, which is why we recommend mixing it first by hand. So it's looking pretty good to me right now. So I'm just going to put that in there and we're just going to mix it. using a hand mixer even if you don't want to mix it by hand first just because it will get those clumps of flour and whatnot kind of broken up and it'll make it taste a lot more even and so as soon as you're done mixing that you're just gonna put it into I have an 8 by 4 inch pan here we do recommend in the instructions a 9 by 15 pan um, no 9 by 5 I'm sorry 9 by 5 but we are using an 8 by 4 and it did turn out great um, so you just grease your pan with butter or vegetable oil, whatever you're going to grease it with, whatever works for you. And you just pop this right in there. It does just make one pan, this recipe, so you can double it, you can triple it, whatever you would like to do. And as soon as you have it in there, just go ahead and cook it for about 60 to 70 minutes and you're set. And if you want your home to smell delicious, guys, this is the best recipe for that. So thank you so much for joining us for DIY Tuesday. We are excited that you guys would were able to join us today. And don't forget that our giveaway today is those five lookbooks. So make sure that you're commenting, sharing, liking, all of that fun stuff. Um, and don't forget that the lookbooks are 80 cents today as opposed to a dollar. So make sure you head on over and check that out as well. We will see you guys Friday. Have a good day.